G'day Cobbers, welcome back to the book. Actually, Matt's carport today. Today we're going to do an install on airbags inside his cool springs in the back of his 80. He's got a 175 litre long range tank under there and he's recently purchased a camper. The back of the 80 is dragging on the ground a little bit. Not quite level when he's hooked up with the camper van. And we're going to fix that today. Let's get into it. So as a baseline, we're going to look at the hitch height. Now, if we put the tape measure there, you're able to see the bottom of the hitch is 410 mil off the ground. Remember that figure, and we'll look at it later. Okay, so we've jacked the vehicle up, and now we have to remove the bottom mount of the shock. So it's limiting the amount of droop and it's stopping us from getting the spring out. So let's do that. First, we remove the bolt. And then take the shocker off the bottom mount. Now the shock is off, we can lower it down to the maximum droop and hopefully get this spring out. Now our spring is already loose, so we just need to pull the suspension down a little bit, enough to get the spring out. And now we've got the spring out. Now the cool spring has been removed, we have to remove the bump stop spacer and that's a 12 mil. They come out reasonably easily. Now we've removed the bump stop, we have to drill in the top a 25 to 30 mil hole where the screw goes through. So we'll get on with that now. All right, now we have to increase this hole to about 25 to 30 mil. So we'll start off by getting rid of the captive nut with a 10 mil drill bit. Okay, so that looks to be about 26 mil inside. Just need to make sure all these edges are nice and clean. So we'll get our file out and we'll clean it up. Now comes time to put the airbag in. There's a bit of a trick to these. What you can do is get a little bit of air out. Get a short piece of tube, put a bung in the end. Once you've pulled a bit of air out, just gently insert it into the end there. That'll keep it a little bit flatter. Then get your spring. Remembering this is the top surface, so you need your nipple pointing up and insert the bag. It's a little bit easier, it's not appreciably easier though. And keep going till it's all the way in. Once you're completely inside, push on the collar. Insert will come out and then just get in there and straighten up the bag. Don't forget, you're going to need your collar on top prior to insertion. Let's go and put it in the car. Okay, now time to put the spring back in. Get your mate to put his foot on the uh, axle and then reinsert the spring. And make sure it falls into the slot on the bottom. Thanks. Now it's time to put in the inflation valves. All we simply do is put a washer on, choose your holes carefully. If you don't have, to have holes already there, you might have to drill some. Be mindful of where you're putting the inflation valves so they don't interfere with any towing equipment on this side or from the reverse side. Also take into consideration that it's not going to get removed by a rock when you're going down a hill. Okay, just do it, nip him up. Last but not least, is to install the caps. Now let's run the air lines. Okay, when it comes to cutting your air line to length, don't use a pair of side cutters. Make sure you grab a sharp knife, put it against a hard surface, and just cut it off like that. Otherwise they'll never seal if you squash them with side cutters. Right, first up, put the airline into the back of the connection. Simply a matter of pushing it home. That's home now. And we'll run the hose the rest of the way. Zip tying it all the way, every six inches or so. 
right to the back of the bag. Let's have a look at the connection to the airbag. And our final airline termination is at the top here. So I'm just pushing home now. And don't forget to put the collar on first. All that's left to do is the other side, and then the testing. Let's have a look at that. Okay, as you can see, we're out the bush here now. We've attached the caravan, and the back end is dragging. We don't have any pressure in the back, and that's because of the tow ball weight. So let's check out the tow ball weight. Okay, so we've got a tow ball scale here, and now we're going to lower the tow ball of the camper onto the scale and check the weight. That's around about 200 kilograms. Okay, so with no air pressure in the airbags and no tow ball down pressure, we're sitting at about 410 mil. Now, let's put some pressure in the airbags and see if that changes the height. Okay, so the maximum inflation pressure is 30 psi for the bags, so we'll start with 20 psi and see how that works for us. Now it doesn't take long to pump them up because they're only small volume. Now we've got one bag up to 20 psi, let's do the other one. There we go, now we've got the other one up to 20 psi. Let's check out the height difference. Now you can see it hasn't changed, it's about 410 mil. So as you saw, the tow ball height didn't change with the air pressure in the bags. However, what about when we lower the camper onto the tow ball? Okay, we've got the full 200 kilograms of tow ball weight on the tow bar there. Let's check the height. We're sitting about 380, so we've gone down 30 mil. What about if we take the airbag pressure out? So now with no airbag pressure, let's measure the height. And we're sitting at about 360 mil off the ground, so we've lost an additional 20 mil of ground clearance under the back of the tow ball. But that's not the end of the story. And don't forget where that weight is placed, it's effectively a lever with our front axle being the pivot point and our leg going onto the tow ball which is behind the rear wheels so we effectively get more weight on the rear wheels so if you have 200 kilograms as we do in this case on the tow ball we might have 250 or maybe even 300 on the rear axle and that may exceed the weight rating for your rear axle now if you enjoy this video don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and tell us about your experience with air springs down in the comment section. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next one.